Fig hunts need fig views. Fig hunts need fig views. Fig hunts need fig views. Right here on YouTube. Fig hunts need fig views. Fig hunts need fig views. Fig hunts need fig views. Right here on YouTube. Step off, people. I'm taking over. YouTube fellow collectors, newcomers, and most of all, people who really do love the content. It's your man, Mr. Dodger, back at it again with another fig review. Today upon your phone, TV, or computer, or whichever device you're watching this video on, I am bringing you a review from none other than Jada Toys, Universal Monsters, The Wolfman. The Wolfman. And I picked this guy up at Ross for about, I want to say about 12 or 13 bucks. I'm not really sure. I've been at the figure for a minute, and um, I want to put him in the display, so I just want to review him. And then once I get done reviewing him, I will display him over in my display spot. So, um, yeah, man. So, we're going to do a little quick review on this guy. Hope y'all enjoy. Hope you um, get something out of this review or whatever. You know what I mean? It's just I want to review it because I like to share my figures that I, you know, get, pick up, find with y'all. You know what I'm saying? So, Without further ado, let's get ready to get into the Wolfman. All right, so what we're gonna do is get into the accessories, which you don't really have that many, but let's see what he got. So for starters, he come with this cane with a um, wolf for a handle, you know, got a little wolf for a handle. And this is a dope cane, you know what I'm saying? Got a little metal um, in at the, bottom of it, you know, um, dope, black, I can dig that detail, I don't know if it, you can really see it, kind of, yeah, you can see it, I don't see that wolf, dope, you also come with another head scope, He also come with a couple of hands to hold the cane. And last but certainly not least, come with this bear um, trap. Yep, this bear trap that's R, that is articulated. Nice. And like I said, I picked this guy up at Ross for about 14 bucks. So, and I think the original price was like 26 bucks. So, Jada Toys, you know what you're doing. You know what you're doing. So, without further ado, let's get into the figure itself. We're gonna get a up close and personal look of the figure. So, let's start out with that face go. Yeah. OG right here, man. Back in the day. The black and white. <laughs> you know what I mean? The silent flicks. Yeah, this is the OG werewolf right here, man. Or wolf man. Yeah. And um and the detail on this guy is um is phenomenal. You check out the pockets and you see the buttons on this guy, man. Check it out. You know. What would be awesome though if they can do like some pinless joints i really do like them pinless pinless joints and what would be even more doper if that's a word if he had like butterfly joints you know which he don't come with and um got the blue jeans with the um detail in it you know they got a little wash or whatever <laughs> um down to his feet yes you got the bag. Yeah, so we just did the up and close. Now, you know, what I'm going to do now is some articulation. And that's like my favorite part of reviewing a figure is the articulation. Just to see what the, how can you, you know, like pull this guy or, you know what I'm saying, put him in different types of, um, um, dynamic, you know, style posing or whatnot. And I think it shouldn't be that hard because he 
um, got quite a bit of um, articulation to him. So let's get into it. So his arm can go out like this, like a T pose, as um, the amazing would say. Um, arm can rotate right at the arm. Um, well, it can rotate like that. Has a um, bicep swivel. Has double joints at the elbow. Rotation at the wrist. Also has a hinge. Has a upper rotation. Has a lower rotation. And has the ab crunch. You can go backwards. Dope. You can have crunch forward. Um, you can do the splits. As a upper thigh cut. As a double joint knee. As an ankle rocker. His foot can go down that much. Go up that much. Thing is, check that out. You do not have a um, toe articulation, so you know. But you know, it's it's Jada toy, so I ain't gonna be tripping on that. As far as articulation goes, for his feet, but um, yeah. So I'm gonna try to do a couple of size comparison. Let me straighten them up right here. Is that straight? I like kind of lean a little bit. Yeah, that's about as straight as he gonna damn get. <laughs> yeah, that's about as straight as he gonna damn get right there. So let's get into size comparison. All right, size comparison time, size comparison time. As you can see, we got a couple of Marvel Legends up here with the Jetta Toys. Wolfman, and um, as you can see, the skeleton is pretty, pretty on point. You know, they they about the, you know, saying what you can put Jada Toys and Marvel Legends in the same setting because of the scaling. You know what I'm saying? So, um, yeah, I don't see like I, if I was like looking at this at a like a display setting or whatnot, I wouldn't be like, you know. He's uh, he, like he will be. He won't be out of place. What I'm, what I'm trying to say, he will fit right in with your Marvel Legends. All right, so I had to take my camera back just a little bit to show y'all that with the um DC Multiverse McFarlane figures, he would not be able to blend in with these guys. He would stand out like a sore freaking thumb, as you can see right here. Now, it wouldn't even seem right to have a Wolfman going up against Superman at his height. You know, um, a Wolfman is supposed to be bigger than your average size man. So, um, yeah, this wouldn't work. I mean, you probably could make it work, but it wouldn't look right. As you can see right here, it's not looking right. Final thought up next. Okay, my final thought, man. I'm going to tell y'all right now. I'm going to tell y'all right now. If you happen to run across this guy at Ross, pick him up. Pick him up because I don't think you're going to see him anywhere else. Now, if you run across him at a Target or, well, I don't think you'll see him at Walmart. But if you run across this guy at a Target and they want full price for him, I still say pick him up if you don't have him. You know what I mean? Because the articulation of this guy is dope. The detail on this guy is dope. And, you know, you get a, quite a bit of accessories as well. So, um, rating from a scale of 1 to 10, I give this guy a 8.5 out of 10. Yeah, 8.5, you know, because, you know, I like a figure with butterfly joints. And that really, really make the figure stands out to me. But, um, yeah, I highly recommend this guy, man. So, that being said, a little quick review on this guy. Like I said, I want to put him in the display spot. So I just wanted to go and review him and give my take on this game. Even though I know this is an old figure and the figure been out for a minute now, you know what I'm saying? So, but I just want to do it, you know, give some content, give my take on this guy. So 
Uh, that being said, if this is your very first time checking me out, man, do yourself and our favor. Subscribe, like, share, and, and comment. You know what I'm saying? Whether it's good or bad, just, just leave me a comment. You know what I mean? Because, you know, I, I, I takes it in. I takes it all in. That being said, this is your man, Mr. Stargell, Fitness Sign Out. To all the YouTube for the collectors, newcomers, and most of all, people that really do love the content, deuces, and I will catch y'all on the next one. Peace out.